So it is September and the iPhone 13 will be out very soon. More reports have dropped in recently and one of them is talking about a new nighttime camera mode and I want to share the details about this and a summary of everything we know including the iPhone 13 release date and price. Hi, it's Matt here. So reports and leaks are coming in fast and for these videos not to be any longer than they already are, I'm making a few more videos a bit more regular as we get closer to the release date and as more reports are coming in. For everyone new, this video will be giving you the latest leaks or reports first, followed by the release date and then a summary of the iPhone 13 models with the prices. Also, as there's were reports coming in now for both the iPhone 13 and the 13 Pro models, these leaks are split into two videos now. So we are now finally in September and the iPhone 13 is close. We now have public betas for all of Apple's new OS's including iOS 15. iOS 15 is giving iPhone users new FaceTime features and iMessage changes to name a few. However, we're expecting a few more software tweaks for the iPhone 12s or the iPhone 13 and for them to be married up with the new hardware put inside. So let's talk about that report of the iPhone 13 new nighttime camera mode. So Mark Weinbach has claimed that the iPhone 13 will be getting a new nighttime camera mode that allows you to take pictures of the night sky. The mode is an astrophotography mode and it will likely ask iPhone users to hold their iPhone 13s pointing at the night sky for a certain amount of seconds while the camera lens is open and the iPhone 13's A15 newer engine will get to work in creating the best nighttime sky astrophotography picture it can make in what it is seeing. Now some of you will be saying that this isn't really a new feature and other companies like Google with their pixel range already had this ability for some time now but Apple like they usually do like to perfect a mode or technology before releasing it. So expect this new astrophotography mode to be one of the best out there on any smartphone device. This also leads me on nicely to say that all reports and leaks that are coming through are not 100% proof that they will come true for the new iPhone. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you're watching this video, then you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next iPhone anyway. So today's sponsor is from Casetify. Now I'm a massive fan of Casetify cases and they've got a new variety right out now and it's called the Pure Color Range. So as you can see here, I'm sporting this lovely green colored, cool color sort of green on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, but they have lots of other varieties as well. You can also get yourself a sort of a plain color one here. I've also got an orange one here. And you've also got this kind of like mirrored design as well. These are just some of the kind of different cases that are out there and they do loads of varieties of different cases in fact some of the cases you can even get customized like this one that I've got right here it's got my name on it as well it says matte here and even for example the ink what is actually used on this case is eco-friendly and it even gets better than that all of their cases are actually made out of 50% recycled material and I think that's really amazing what they're doing with their cases. Now their cases are also made out of this really strong kind of kind of material what's actually called Cheetech. And as you can see here, like with this mirrored one, if I try to bend it or snap it, it's really, really strong to be honest. You know, if I did it on the orange one here as well. In fact, they're so strong that a lot of these cases can withstand up to six foot six or nine foot eight drops. In fact, I'm gonna demo those for you. So I'm actually going to use it, first of all, with this green case that I have right here. And this one should be able to withstand the drop from six foot six. So let's go and test that right now. So as you can see, there's no damage at all to my iPhone 12 Pro Max. The screen's intact, the case hasn't got any damage, and that was a drop from around about six foot. I'm gonna test out this next one that was the ultra impact kind of case that we have here. We've got some extra bits of protection on the corners here. And this can withstand a drop from nine foot eight. Now I don't have a nine foot eight drop, but I could probably drop it from around about nine foot. So let's give that a go now on this iPhone 12 Pro Max. So from an even bigger drop, you can see there's absolutely nothing wrong with my phone whatsoever. It's absolutely intact and so is the case. So this is absolutely unbelievable. 
What is also amazing about these cases is that all of them had an antimicrobial coating on them that protects them from 99% of bacteria, what is absolutely incredible. So yeah, I would definitely check out these cases because they've got so many features on them and they're absolutely fantastic and I absolutely love them. In fact, right now, Casetify are giving a 15% discount and that's just being displayed right now. And also, you can use this link to take you straight through to the website and you'll get a 15% discount on your your first case and also I'll put a link in my description as well. Now these Casetify cases you just saw are for the iPhone 12 but Casetify are making cases for the iPhone 13 launch as well so if you are thinking of getting the new iPhone definitely get a Casetify case for it. So let's do the release date next. So last year due to the pandemic it was really the only year we haven't seen a flagship iPhone released in September in the last five years or so. However, with leaks flying around that Apple has started production on the new iPhone earlier this year, it is likely we'll get a September release. In fact, many reports are already showing that this is going to be the case in 2021, with an expected September or early October launch for all the iPhone 13 models. Wedbush analyst Dan Ives believes that the iPhone 13 range will be announced during the third week of September time. That would be a little later than usual since Apple tends to launch iPhones in the first week or second week of that month, but this information does suggest that we may be seeing the iPhone 13 release date as September 24th. I should point out this is a fairly good guess and it's based on taking I's prediction at face value. Apple typically holds its iPhone launch event on a Tuesday with pre-orders then starting on that same week on the Friday. Then after this, the first wave of iPhones typically arrive in customer hands the following Friday after that. So this means if Ives is correct, we could be seeing the iPhone 13 launch on September 14th, then pre-orders opening on September 17th, and then the release of the iPhone 13 on September 24th. However, at the end of this year, we will also see other Apple events for other Apple products like MacBooks, iPads, Apple Watch and AirPods and loads more. And if you want the latest information about these products, do check out my other videos on this channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get the latest info about them. So next, let's talk about the iPhone 13 model prices and the best way to do this is give you a summary of what we know so far for the iPhone 13 and 13 mini models. So I just wanted to say these summary pages what I'm about to show you are going to be updated continuously whenever we get new leaks coming in for the iPhone 13 mini and also the iPhone 13. Any new leaks that come in will kind of mix up with kind of other leaks that we've heard. That information will also be shared here. So like I said, any kind of changes, they will be reflected in upcoming videos in the future. So let's begin then with the iPhone 13 model. So first of all, we're going to be getting a 5.4 inch LTPO OLED display. And this is very, very similar to the iPhone 12 display. It has a resolution of 2340 by 1080. According to most leaks that we have discussed about, it is looking likely that the iPhone 13 mini will still have a 60Hz refresh rate display. This means it will not be getting the Pro Motion display, what is a 120Hz display, what basically means the screen refreshes itself 120 times per second like we should be getting on the iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max display. The Mini will not be getting this. But for storage wise, we're gonna get a bump up at last. The actual minimum storage this time is gonna be starting at 128 gigabytes, then 256 gigabytes and 512 gigabytes. This is according again to latest leaks, but this could change again. But at the moment, this is how it stands. We're also gonna be getting that brand new A15 Bionic chipset inside it. And again, these new leaks that we've been having have been showing what the power is gonna be behind that actual chipset. And also that production has also started on them. We're also gonna be getting 5G connectivity all over again. And this will be the same Qualcomm kind of modem that was borrowed inside the iPhone 12. It's gonna be put inside the iPhone 13 mini so not too much is changing there 
The RAM amount is 4GB of RAM and again this is the same amount that we had inside the iPhone 12 mini. The body is going to be made out of an aluminium body, however this body is looking likely to be slightly thicker according to some latest new leaks to accommodate a bigger battery, what I'll talk about in a second. On the rear we're going to be getting a dual camera setup again and as you've seen in the latest leaks we've got some components on the go and a lot of those components are changing for the actual iPhone rear camera setup. Then for battery size we do have a bump up according to the latest leaks and this is 2407 milliamps. And then finally for the price wise the 128 gigabyte model is going to be starting at 699 US dollars. The 256 gigabyte model is going to start at 749 dollars and then the 512 gigabyte at 849 US dollars. So let's move on to the iPhone 13 next and to be deadly honest a lot of the bits and pieces what are in the iPhone 13 mini are identical to what's going to be put inside the iPhone 13 normal but one of the biggest main changes has got to be the screen size. So with the iPhone 13 we're going to be getting a 6.1 inch LTPO OLED display what again is very similar to what was put inside the iPhone 12 normal. Its resolution is 2532 by 1170 and again we'll be getting a 60Hz display no pro motion or 120Hz display like we'll be getting inside the iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max so basically the screen will refresh at about 60 times per second. Again for storage we're getting that bump up from 64 to 128 gigabyte as the starter according to many new leaks here and basically we'll be getting a 256 gigabyte and a 512 gigabyte option as well. We'll also be getting that A15 Bionic inside it what again comes with all the new bells and whistles and of course being more efficient than ever. We're also getting that Qualcomm 5G modem put inside it, what's identical to the one what's put inside the iPhone 12 normal. We're also getting 4GB of RAM just like we had with the iPhone 12 again. And then just like the iPhone 13 mini, we're going to be getting an aluminium body and it's going to be slightly thicker to accommodate the slightly bigger batteries what we've seen in some of the latest leaks. We're also getting that dual camera setup and again that dual camera setup is going to have some big changes that we've seen in recent leaks so far. And then finally the battery size is going to be a 3095 milliamp battery and that is definitely bigger than the one that was put inside the iPhone 12. For price rise it's going to be starting at 799 US dollars for the 128 gigabyte version. Then the 256 gigabyte model is going to be 849 US dollars and then finally the 512 gigabyte model is going to be 949 US dollars. So as per usual with this list of features I'll be keeping it updated as more leaks come on in all the way up to the iPhone 13 launch. Well it's time to wrap this up so don't forget if you have liked this video to press the like button and of course to hear the latest iPhone news, Apple news, reviews and comparisons please do hit subscribe followed by the bell. Until next time guys see you soon.